ahead of the governorship elections in Edo State um, as it approaches September 2021, 2024, stakeholders from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have declared their unified commitment to defending the democratic rights of Edo State citizens. The PDP stakeholders who made their view known at a press conference this Monday expressed significant worry about the alleged growing trend of harassment and unjust detentions targeting opposition members. They specifically highlighted that these actions are affecting members of the PDP, suggesting that the party's members are being unfairly targeted and persecuted. The group revealed alarming reports of mass arrest and the alleged targeting of key opposition figures by the Nigerian police, allegedly under external pressure. It is with deep concern that we address this press conference, drawing attention to the alarming and escalating harassment of opposition members, particularly from the People's Democratic Party, and warning against any attempt to subvert the will of the good people of Edo State. Recent reports have unveiled a sinister plot aimed at undermining the opposition in Edo State through a series of mass arrests and arbitrary detentions. We have received credible information that the Nigerian police under pressure from certain quarters, is being recognized to target and intimidate key opposition figures. Already, individuals like Mr. Amos Tom and Kingsley Osaho have been unjustly detained, while others, including Odion Olaye, Chief Francis Inebiki, Chief Olukaga, Festus Osaibovo, and Kelly Inedegbo, are reportedly on the brink of similar fates. This wave of political repression is not only a gross violation of the rights of these individuals, but also a blatant attempt to silence dissent and instill fear among the electorates. We demand that those already detained be immediately released or charged with recognizable offenses in line with the law of the land. The use of state machineries to oppress political opposition is not only unconstitutional, but also a flagrant violation of international human rights standards. They're calling for an immediate cessation of these practices and urging President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to intervene to prevent further erosion of trust in the electoral process. We call upon President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to take swift and decisive action to put an end to this undemocratic behavior. The planned mass arrest and detention, if allowed to proceed, will plunge the state into crisis of confidence in the electoral process. The president must ensure that the Nigerian police and other security agencies adhere strictly to the rule of law and respect for the fundamental rights of citizens. The people of other states are fully aware of their rights and will not tolerate any form of electoral malpractice. We are watching closely and we will hold INEC accountable for the conduct of this election. Any action that undermines the democratic process, disenfranchises the electorate or casts doubt on the credibility of the results will have grave consequences. INEC must understand that it is entrusted with the sacred duty of upholding democracy, and any deviation from this responsibility will not only damage its credibility, but also plunge the state into turmoil. The eyes of the nation and, of course, the international community are on Edo states. And we demand nothing short of a free, fair, and transparent, credible elections. The PDP stakeholders also issued a stern warning to the Independent National Electoral Commission in exciting reports of attempts to allegedly manipulate the electoral process. They emphasize that any compromise in the integrity of the election will face serious resistance, and INEC must uphold democratic principles to avoid plunging the state into chaos.